All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about font styles and text styles. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Instead of working with my index.html, I think this time I'm going to open up the blog.html. And I think I need to include my CSS file in here, and then we can start making style changes to this page. So again, I'm going to just use this link CSS, which is link rel style sheet. I have my link to my style sheet, which is in this case is going to be CSS slash style.css. So save that, close the sidebar, and let's come back here and let's add some font and text styles to our paragraphs. So how about for our paragraphs, we're gonna say that we have a color of blue. And the color is the most popular type of text styles that we can add, but there are quite a few others. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste a snippet right here. And you can see that we have some text properties and some font properties. And instead of actually going down to each one of these and explaining it to you, I'm going to open up developer tools and show you real time what each of these properties can do. So how about we save that and we go over here to our blog and we can see that we have the text of blue. And I think for the meantime, we're going to remove the background because it's hard to read that blue on here. So one more thing that I want to introduce is commenting in CSS. So you can see inside of this snippet, there are some comments. So what we can do is we can say forward slash asterisk and then we close it with an asterisk forward slash and that will comment out that line. So if I save this and reload, you can see that we no longer have that background. Okay, so how about I make this full screen and I open up developer tools and I'm going to bump this up just a little bit. Okay, so we want to change some styles to our paragraph. So if I go here to the paragraph, we have these different styles. So we have text align, and you can see right now that the text is aligned to, to the left, but we could also specify a few different properties. So we could say we want text align to be center. And if we change that to center, you can now see that the text is centered. We can then set that to right. And now it is aligned to the right. And you can see right here in the text align, if you actually just have a space right there, you can see all the different properties right here. So you can see here that we can center and there's a few other properties in here that we're not gonna cover, but pretty much for text align, you just need to know that you can text align it to the left, center, and the right. And then we have our text decoration. And with our text decoration, we can specify whether we want maybe like a line through the text. We can specify if we want an underline and an overline. So those are probably the most common, the line through overline and underline. So you can see if it's underlined, it actually looks like a link. So most people might think that that's a link. So probably not a good idea to have color blue and text underline. So I'm just going to change this to, we'll just say line through. And then the text transform, we can change this to capitalize. So maybe we want to capitalize everything in the paragraph. And you know what, actually, I'm just going to remove this text decoration. And besides capitalize, we also have a lowercase. So we can lowercase the whole sentence or the whole text, and then we can also uppercase the text if we wanted to. But for now, I think I'm just going to keep it as initial, which is just going to be default. And letter spacing, we can actually specify in pixels how far we want the letters to be spaced apart. So I could say one pixel, two, three, four, five, and you can see that the spacing between each letter gets larger. But I'm just going to go ahead and keep this as initial as well. And then we have our line height. And let's say that we had our text wrap. So let's actually give this a default width. So we're gonna say width of 500 pixels. And now we're gonna see that our text is actually wrapping. So now we can take a look at line height and we can say that we want line height. Let's go ahead and just set it to 40 pixels. And you can see that as we change the line height, the spacing in between each line changes. So that's simple enough. We'll set this back to initial and let's remove that width. Okay, and then we have different font families that we can use. And by default, we're typically using the Times Roman. This is going to be based on the browser default, but it looks like this is the Times Roman font. But a few other fonts that we can choose is Arial. Uh, we, I think we can also choose Helvetica. And there's a few other ones we can choose. 
I think through all here, monospace, fantasy, that one looks kind of horrible, <laughs> cursive, that one looks pretty bad too. Um, yeah, so you can go through all these default fonts. Uh, you can see that we have a sans serif right here, and then we also have serif. So the difference between the serif and the sans serif is if you take a look at each of these letters with the serif, you can see that, say for the L, it has like these little lines. You can see like the ending L, it has that kind of like lip. But if we were to change this to sans serif, it's very solid. So sans serif, you can see that each of the lines are very solid. So let me show you again that difference. There's serif and sans serif. So for the font family, I think I'll just keep this as initial. Actually, I kind of liked Arial. So we'll change it to Arial. And then we'll move on to the font size. And the font size is pretty straightforward. You can change the size of the font. So maybe we want 14 pixels, which actually we were dealing with a default size of 16 pixels. I think if we look back at our code, yeah, somewhere there might have actually been a default style. Um, but let's change this. I think 16 might even be the default of the page. So let's go ahead and bump this up to say 20. You can see that the size is a lot larger, 24, 25, 26. And let's just go ahead and keep this at 15 pixels. Okay, in the font weight, we can actually choose how thick we want our letters to be. So we could use the common you know, ones like bold. I think we have normal. And I think we have a few more lighter, bolder, bold. And we can also use these numbers. So we could say that we want it to be 500, 600, and 700, 800, 900. So some fonts will actually have more weights than others. So you can actually choose between 100 through 900. But as you can see, Arial right now only has 100, then 500, oh, 600, and then 900. Actually, it looks like it just has a normal and a bold. But some font families will actually have multiple weights that you can include. And you can also include Google Fonts on your page, but that is going to require you to include an additional library. But we may actually cover that in a future video. So let's move on. We have our font weight. We'll just keep this as normal. And font style, we can choose if we want it to be italic. Or we can say normal, oblique. So it's pretty much italic and normal for font style. And then font variant, I think this one's pretty simple. We just have a small caps. So you can see the first letter is capitalized and then the other ones are small caps. So font variant, just small caps or normal. So those are some of the most common text and font properties that you will be using on your page. So I hope you learned a good amount about text and font styles in this video. Uh, that was just a quick 101 on text and font styles. So that is it for now, and I will see you in the next video.